In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about numbering processes. In SkyCAD, numbering of projects, sheets, and components is all done automatically. And once your design is done, all wire numbers are generated with just a few clicks. If we insert a component, such as a motor, it is numbered MTR1. The next one will be MTR2, and so on. This is the default numbering system used in SkyCAD. However, the numbering system can be customized in many different ways such as integrating sheet number, or using rung numbering. This is discussed further in the Customizing Numbering tutorial. Keep in mind, you can always double-click any component tag to manually overwrite the value that was calculated automatically. Such manual overwrite has consequences which we'll explain later in this tutorial. As a project's design evolves, it's likely that many symbols wires and sheets will be moved around, changed or deleted. As such, the numbering of these elements may not appear sequential anymore. To renumber them, simply select any element in your project, such as a sheet, and go to the Renumbering Process tab. Let's start with Sheet Renumbering. In case you have rearranged the sheets in your project, Sheet Renumbering renumbers them sequentially. In a similar fashion, Component renumbering will renumber all components in the project sequentially. For example, if I delete this motor, the numbering of the motors isn't sequential anymore. Once we click Component renumbering, all components are renumbered top to bottom, left to right. By default, elements are renumbered following a top down, then left to right orientation. It is possible to change this to left right, then top down. For more information about this, see the Renumbering Orientation tutorial. The Wire Renumbering and Processing button does a number of things, depending on the license level you have. In all cases, it will generate connection nets and number them. A connection net is a group of connections all connected together. If you have an advanced license, in addition to calculating nets, physical wires associated to nets will also be generated and numbered. Furthermore, if you select the project, click the Show tab, and select Wire List, you get a pin-to-pin -pin wire list showing part numbers, colors, and sizes. If you have a Pro license, the Wire Renumbering and Processing button will also generate harnesses based on your harness overview drawings and route all wires within harness branches. For more information about harness features, see the Harness Features tutorial. Keep in mind, double-clicking any connection will allow you to change the net number manually. Once wire renumbering and processing is done, you'll notice connection numbers appear on almost all connection segments. Should you wish to hide connection numbers on some of them, select the connections, go to the Schematic Tools tab, and select Show or Hide Connection Number. Also, you may wish to move some connection numbers. To do so, go to the Schematic Tools tab and select Move Connection Text on Axis. Click once to define the axis beginning, then click again to define the axis end. Let's get back to the Renumbering Process tab. The first button on the left of the ribbon, Renumber All, runs all three renumbering processes at once. So far, the renumbering buttons we mentioned will renumber all elements throughout the entire project. It is possible to run these processes for only selected elements. To demonstrate, I'll insert a control circuit. Select those connections you want numbered, go to the Renumbering Process tab, and choose Selected Wire Renumbering and Processing to renumber only those connections. If you select Components, the Renumber Selected Component button appears in the ribbon, which you can use to renumber only those selected components. As mentioned earlier, it is possible to define numbers manually. But there are a few things you need to know about this. The first one is that once you define a number manually, that number becomes frozen, which means the renumbering processes we described earlier won't affect that particular number. For example, earlier we manually defined 24 VDC. If we run Wire Renumbering and Processing, it won't change the number, but any other connections that would require renumbering would get renumbered. 
As a side note, it's possible to freeze component tags and connection numbers without having to define the numbers manually. See the Freeze and Thaw IDs tutorial for more information. Something else that's important to know is that when you try to force a number manually, Skycad's uniqueness control will nonetheless ensure that all elements have unique numbers, as they should. To demonstrate, if we try to manually number this motor's tag to MTR1, a message box pops up saying the value is already used and offers you three choices Navigate to, Overwrite, and Cancel. Navigate to will display a dialog box showing where the element is located, so you can choose if you want to change that or not. Overwrite will force the number you defined and renumber the element which had that number originally. Cancel, naturally, cancels the process. In conclusion to this tutorial, we'll mention the Flag Project as Built feature. Once a project is flagged as built, renumbering processes will not affect existing elements and will only assign numbers to new elements. We invite you to see the Flag Project as Built tutorial to discover other advantages offered by this feature.